St. Louis Public School Board weighing tonight whether to close nearly a dozen school facilities. A majority of the 11 buildings are in North City, but the decision would have a wider ranging impact on children and families across the city. News 4's Alexis Zotos is following this story and watching tonight's meeting. Alexis. Corey, and that meeting is still going on right now. I've been continuing to watch it on the YouTube channel that it's being streamed on to bring you the very latest. Right now, the discussion on the table is now looking at closing eight of the proposed 11 schools, including Cleveland ROTC here in South St. Louis. And again, this is a long night. They've been talking for almost three and a half hours. Here's though what the community has been saying today. There is no other high school like Cleveland. Rose Buzz and Game watched with other parents as St. Louis Public School Board decided the fate of 11 schools in the district, including Cleveland ROTC, where her children go. I have two kids there. My son absolutely loves the school. He, he doesn't want to go anywhere else. Uh, and uh, she just started there. Um, it means a lot to us. Uh, a lot of our family members went there. Outside Dunbar Elementary in the Jeff Vanderloo neighborhood of North St. Louis, neighbors worry for the future of their school. We already have empty houses, you know, vacant houses, vacant lots, and we just don't need another vacant building in the neighborhood. The district has more than a dozen empty school buildings for sale. Many have sat vacant and dilapidated for years. The community rallied to come up with ideas to prevent the closure of these 11 schools, many which are located in North St. Louis. We're on the ground and we know it works to keep our St. Louis public schools open. There's a lot of frustration tonight from parents and community members. The board is discussing plans that were never presented to the community. Those plans tonight ranging from closing all the 11 schools to not closing any of them, and then a couple of options in between that would close some and delay the vote on others. We're going to continue watching this meeting, and we will bring you the very latest as soon as a vote happens. You can find that online on KMOV.com, as well as tomorrow on News 4 this morning. For now, reporting live, Alexis Otto's. Is for.